Hey YouTube, this is a movie I just love. I recently picked up from Screen Factory. Um, the Vagrant, starring Bill Paxton, the late Bill Paxton, God rest his soul. Moving in September fourth. I got this from Screen Factory, and oh my God, is this a crazy movie? It's got a reversible slip, but I'm not going to take that out. I'm just going to show you the front disc. It's that's the same as on the cover that I they flipped over. This is Bill Paxton. I picked this movie up because I'm a big Bill Paxton fan and I had to check this film out. It is also starring um, Michael... Michael... Michelle... Arz, Arzen... God, I can't say that name right. He was in a lot of films, too. He just recently passed away, actually, as well. Or no, he didn't. I'm sorry, I'm mixing him up. But he was in Starship Troopers, Top Gun... Scanners, wow, T Total Recall, a lot of great movies there. The Vagrant, which plays um, is played by Marshall Bell. If anybody remembers him best, he was in um, Starship Troopers also, Total Recall, um, A Nightmare on Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. That was a crappy movie, though. He didn't stand by me. I don't remember him being in that, to be honest. Um, let's see here. We got Sturt Penkin from... Um, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, uh, Children of the Dead. Not a very good movie either, but yeah, what are you going to do? This is a 1992 film that um, stars Bill Paxton where he buys his very first house, something I don't know anything about yet, um, which within hours he becomes well aware that there's a vagrant currently in their homeless man that is pissing in the sink when he sees him, actually. He calls the police to no avail, and then when he informs them that he is littering in... Um, urinating outside, they arrest him. Within hours, he is released from the, um, the police release him, you know, always do that without telling us anything, and he starts stalking Bill Paxton. Next thing you know, people are dying around him, and nobody's listening, nobody believes him, everybody believes the, um, most man is down in his luck, having a little trouble. Forces Bill Paxton to basically have to run from the law because of this, he's, his mother dies in, in the courtroom actually trying to defend her son. And then he gets a job working in a trailer park. Needless to say, the man follows him. It turns out that this man was um, originally a therapist or something. He had a book he wrote. And he was studying Bill Paxton, trying to make him into what he believes people would turn into if he drove him nuts, which is a really stupid-ass thing to do to people. But, yeah, what are you going to do? Guy's crazy. I won't give away the ending. If you haven't seen this film, you must watch it. If you can get the Screen Factory copy that I'm currently holding here, definitely do. It's beyond worth it. It's one of the best movies ever. Yeah, do I miss Bill Paxton too? Great actor. Aliens, uh, Terminator. <laughs> uh, Predator 2. He was even good in that, i got to be honest. Not the best sequel either, but he was good in it. Ah, shoot. I don't have a whole lot to say about it, really, so... If you haven't seen it, please do. Um, Screen Factory is a great place. If you have not gone online and ordered from them yet, you must do it. You will not be disappointed. They have tons of great movies. They have a lot of extras that are going out of their way to do what they can to give you the best for your dollar. All right. That's about all I can think of. So if you have not seen it, please do. Uh, if you have anything to say about this, if you want to like, share, please give me any comments you got. Thanks.